big Irishman and they will be eyeball to eyeball. <laughs> This is better from Big Daddy. He's got a rough up, Belshaw. Oh! Is down. He can punch, no question about it. Fights convincingly. His debut just four months. Impressive wins by way of early round knockouts. Ash all has shown a ruthlessness and poise unusual in a boxer of such limited experience. Your power behind it. Being an impression. He wants out of there. Yeah, he's just trying to stand on one knee. We in the ring, you think walk into it, no? No, no. Is he going to rush in here or is he going to bide his time? And he looks like he's going to rush oh. in, but this is where oh. Scott Belshaw is dangerous. Well, it wouldn't surprise me, he's a big man. Static target and Fury able to tee off with his array of punches. <laughs> But it's a mount, almost swinging himself off his feet there, Scott Belshaw. Well, you know, if any of these have good technical skills, but game took the shot. No, oh, that was a signal, another signal, and Fury there. So to defeated Swissin Fury. All credit to Belshaw, though. He's the only man in the British Isles who was game enough to step between them ropes with me, so I want to take my hat off to him, and thanks very much for letting him fight me. And, um, that's about it, really. And he came towards you, he, he didn't shy away, did he? He, he, he went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, looked you in the eye and uh, slugged it out with you. Yeah, well, he uh, tried his best, he come for a fight, he was a big game lad and he had a good record as well. And he uh, can punch Scott Belshaw, because I sparred with him previously, I know how, how he can box. So I, um, I knew I had to keep my hands tight around my head in case a big swing cut and caught me. Or it might have been the other way around.